Um, my name is Neil Treparo. I'm a technical evangelist at Microsoft. Uh, yay, Microsoft. Yeah, uh, I figured as much. But uh, hopefully this presentation will really speak to the designers in the audience because we have something that's really, uh, really going to change the way designers and customers who hire agencies will be able to prototype really complex web applications or even rich client applications. And that's using a, a feature in one of our products called Sketchflow. Um, and we'll get into a little bit. But if we think about how design agencies work these days, uh, even whether you're freelance or whether you're in a big design shop, you typically have a briefing by the customer who gives you get a, a series of requirements. You then go back to the customer after he's briefed you and you rebrief the customer. This is what we think the technologies that could be applied to get your solution uh, up and running. But then what happens is this really annoying phase, and that's called the concept phase. And typically how concept phases are done, whether you're freelance or an agency, is you provide PDF documentations, you provide graphics, sketches, uh, Photoshop images, any type of static imagery, right? Uh, and if you really want to go above and beyond, you may have the resources to actually develop a full-fledged flash prototype or some type of Ajax type prototype. But what ends up happening is a lot of that is lost because most people don't do the flash prototype, most people don't code because in the concept phase, your real job is to win over the customer in terms of design and interaction. And so what ends up happening is because you're only looking at static imagery and dealing with things that don't have animation, don't have the click, the intuitive feel that you would normally interact with in a browser, you deliver something. And when you deliver that application, what tends to happen is there should really be an arrow going back, but a customer request changes. Now what happens is you as a designer have to pass on your assets and your entire concept to a web developer who is then working in you know whatever your uh, development environment is. Um, from Microsoft world, most people work in Microsoft work in Visual Studio. So what tends to happen is when a design change happens at the delivery phase, then you're, there's a potential for your entire design environment to completely change. And that's wasted time because there wasn't enough work done in the concept phase. And so if we think about why is it that the concept phase is a nightmare? Well, first and foremost, you get really bad feedback from the customer, especially if they're not design oriented. They don't know, they, they tend to look at the wrong things because you as a designer, you care about, uh, I want, uh, you know, how should the state of the application be? What pages uh, should I forward to from one page to the next? How should a, a, a graphic come in? What kind of animation should be applied to it? You know, what should be the placement of the various UI elements? But an end user, a customer, they'll think, oh, you know what, I don't like that color. I don't like that graphic. I don't like uh, a various load of other things. They focus on the details when they're really trying to get them to focus on the concept. So you're unable to communicate complex ideas. Furthermore, that whole issue I talked about around change. You don't get to really have a full conceptualization stage because you're unable to accommodate for any changes or feedback that may occur. So what you typically do is go straight to the delivery phase. And so you can never keep your customers focused. You, words really can't describe what a developer goes through. Like, oh, I go with that Picard or face bomb. Because words, expressing how dumb that was in words just doesn't work. So why is Sketchflow awesome? Uh, it allows you to rapidly prototype user interfaces. The ap applications, whether it's something you've sketched on a piece of paper, scanned in, or whether it's an Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop file, it, you could actually turn that in just by dragging, dropping controls in the application into a full-fledged uh, Silverlight or WPF application. And first of all, the, feed, the most of all, the feedback system that's native into the whole mechanism is really cool, and I'll show you some of that. And then I won't really I'll gloss over some of the other stuff. So what does a Sketchflow interface really look like? Here is a typical Sketchflow interface. You have a whole bunch of UI elements. Now that's using the sketchy style, so it seems like it's been sketched, but it's actually uh, part of the UI, part of the application. Now you could import your own graphics, your own things, but that's what it is. At the bottom, you'll notice that that's your site map. That essentially tracks how the navigation between your site will work and how the state between each one of those pages will work. So as you click on each one of those blue boxes, that application will morph, it'll change. So a transition will come in, just like very much a PowerPoint presentation works or any type of uh, state diagram works, that's what that is. And the green bars are elements in your application. And this essentially defines how your application runs. Uh, if we look at some of the elements that are really cool in the feedback system is, um, this is where you can enable feedback, where customers give you feedback and then you're, uh, uh, if they make a comment on, let's say, the start page or the checkout page, a little bulb pops up and then you're able to enable that feedback. Well, how does that work? I'll skip a little bit to the front. 
This is a feedback player that works in the browser. It works cross-browser, Firefox, Safari, uh, IE, Mac or PC, Linux pretty soon. Uh, and it runs based on the Silverlight runtime. And I'm out of time. But essentially, end user can run your application in the browser, feedback, scroll, draw, whatever you want. And uh, then you can load that feedback while you develop. And what's really cool is it does a whole development environment for you. And so that's pretty much Sketchflow. Uh, to read that. And uh, yeah, done. Yeah.